So let's go ahead and get started with our very first capability, which is magnetic field intensity evaluation, which allows for better safety and compliance. The purpose of the underground cable magnetic field calculator is to determine if the field intensity exceeds the acceptable limits for long-term or short-term exposure. The health and safety aspects of the analysis are a comparison of the calculated field intensity against the selected magnetic field exposure limits for a worker, the public, or any individual with a medical condition that is sensitive to electromagnetic field radiation. The magnetic field exposure module is integrated into the underground raceway system. By calculating the current flowing through every single conductor or entering that value, the program can determine what is the magnetic field strength around these cables. The magnetic field strength can then be compared against limits such as public limits, individuals with medical conditions, or workers who are working nearby these conductors to ensure their safety and to maintain compliance. The magnetic field information can then also be plotted and displayed into the magnetic field evaluation tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at this module and see it in action. From our underground raceway system program, we can bring up the magnetic field calculator and essentially look at the magnetic field strength that's being calculated for all the conductors in this raceway. The calculation, as I mentioned earlier, is based on ampacity as well as the current angle, which makes a tremendous difference between the magnetic field strength at normal balance condition versus unbalanced condition. So therefore, it's very important to get these current values as well as the angles correctly and preferably directly from the one-line diagram. And that's exactly what you can do in ETAB. So you can simply go to the one-line diagram, run unbalanced load flow calculation, where you can see your average values or the phase values along with the current angles, which can be visualized directly onto the uh, one-line diagram. You can then take this information, update it into the underground raceway program, and make it available for both the thermal calculation as well as the magnetic field calculation. The thermal calculation quickly gives you the current versus temperature, while the magnetic field calculation provides you with the magnetic field intensity strength for that particular raceway. You can simply look at the results from load flow and use it to compute your magnetic field strength, or you can have the ability to manually change it as well. You can plot a single magnetic field strength at a certain depth. You can also ask the program to give you individual plots at different depths by simply selecting the depth level and adding it to your chart. Or you can simply ask the program to give you the complete range, in which case you can use a fixed step and see the complete intensity at different depths throughout the, the underground raceway system. You can then compare the magnetic field strength versus the safety limits. By simply selecting the safety limit that you want to comply against and the compliance standards, you can then go ahead and plot these values directly onto the chart. So you can get a very simple and clear safety line and the actual magnetic field strength associated with that particular raceway. As expected, if the in intensity of the magnetic field is to be recomputed, we re-enter the ampacity or we recompute based on different scenarios. And we can see based on the change in the ampacity of the current going through the conductor, we can see the change in the field strength directly onto the diagram. You can also use the underground cable magnetic field calculator to manually select the underground raceway system results. You can also export the results to an external database or send it to the plot analyzer. And you can also consider sheath and armor current, ignore ferromagnetic conduits, or even change the relative permeability of air. The tool therefore allows you to evaluate three magnetic field exposure limits, which are worker, general public, and individuals with medical condition. The biggest value of this tool is to determine if personnel sensitive to the potentially harmful effects of the magnetic field exposure, such as individuals with pacemakers, are not being exposed to long-term magnetic fields above the recommended limits. 
The added value of this module is not only that it's used for industrial installations, but you can also use it for commercial and public underground cable installations to make sure that the general public exposure to magnetic fields is below the levels established for the general public.